What's up guys, West Coast Sports Grace here coming to you with another Milwaukee Brewers recap after a 7-4 win over the Cincinnati Reds. Nice win tonight. Uh, I just wanted to start by saying I do apologize that I couldn't do any of the recaps of the National Series with my work schedule as I said in previous videos. Uh, it doesn't really work out to where I can do every single recap. Um, but with enough love and support from you guys, uh, I would love to be able to do this somewhat full time uh, in the near future. And who knows if that's a possibility, but um, if you guys could like, subscribe, and comment, and just show enough, uh, you know, enough love and support, I would really appreciate it. But uh, just a couple notes from the National Series. We took two out of three, um, as you guys probably know by now. Uh, solid, solid performance in two of the games. Obviously, we lost the first one. Um, bad news was we lost... Uh, Freddy Peralta to the 10-day IL as well as Eduardo Escobar um, and obviously that's pretty big losses right now but if we can string together some wins and hopefully you know keep it rolling here um, hopefully we can just edge everybody back into uh, healthiness and just get completely healthy and make a serious run um, that's more important at this stretch in the season and like I said, big win tonight over the Reds, pushing our uh, lead to eight and a half over them, and really, you know, shutting the door on their hopes of maybe winning the um, division. Because I know a lot of Reds fans have been really hyped, and really, you know, the biggest way they could have had a shot to win this division realistically is a sweep, and that is not going to happen after a seven to four win. Like I said tonight. Um, you know, Corbin Burns, he, uh, he's he been great all year, but tonight wasn't his best. Um, six six innings pitched, um, seven hits, four earned runs, uh, three walks, which isn't like him at all, as we all know, and five strikeouts. Um, and got into trouble there with bases loaded, no outs, and they got a couple on him, but it's going to happen to the best of them. But what really counts is the rest of the team picked him up, and that's what this Brewers team has done all year. If it's not the pitching staff, it's the offense picking them up. If, if the offense doesn't have it, the pitching staff will pick them up. Um, bullpen was awesome again. They, Hunter Strickland, Devin Williams, and Josh Hader combined for um, zero hits, I do believe, and um, no runs. And that's the biggest that's the biggest key because if you look at these two teams. The Brewers and the Reds, what's the biggest glaring, you know, hole in the Cincinnati Reds is that bullpen. That's what makes them, in my opinion, um, really a non-contender, a non like a pretender if you want to go with that. Um, you know, they have somewhat, some, they have some starters that can give you some length on any given day, but like Malley tonight, uh, he was pretty good with um, five five and two-thirds pitched and eight strikeouts so he, he you know he did he pitched pretty good I, I don't as a whole I don't really like the Cincinnati pitching staff um but you know tonight they they did their thing and uh well Mally um their bullpen terrible came in and just blew it all um but that's to say that the Brewers put on a heck of a rally in the seventh um just just going and and teeing off on the pin and 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 taking the lead you know taking the lead um and uh obviously my boy Colton Wong polished that thing off and put it really out of reach with the you know the the homer uh I I can't even state how big Colton Wong has been to Milwaukee um defensively and offensively you know this guy has he's he's changed the Brewers like what would we have done at second base without this guy I mean I I don't remember you know I mean wh what has second base been without like a guy like Wong I mean when's the last time we had a, a a decent second baseman like what Scooter Jeanette you know Ricky Weeks like um no Colton Wong he he's just really been just a um an absolute lifesaver for the Brewers this guy has just brought the he's you know him and a couple other guys uh obviously Willie Adamas and obviously Garcia but uh, Colt Wong, I think, is understated in how valuable he really is to Milwaukee and what he's doing for us. I mean, the guy, he, he's just amazing. And tonight, another homer to give us, um, you know, some cushion there, 7-4. Uh, to four. And 
with a two-run shot off of uh, Luis Sessa, I do believe. Um, but like I said, Brewers, hard-fought win, um, big win, big win at home over the Cincinnati Reds to really, you know, put the put the foot on the throat and just hold it there, you know what I mean? We need this series, and I think we can do it tomorrow with, um, you know, take the series with Brandon Woodruff on the mound. Um, again, he's he'll be facing off against Luis Castillo. Um, Castillo. And we all know we've had our struggles with him, but we've also had days where we've, you know, got got to him. So we will see what can happen. Um, Willie Adamas suffered um, what was believed to be precautionary, um, I want to say quad tightness. Um, so hopefully he'll be back tomorrow. But... Uh, you know that would be that would be a big loss, obviously with Escobar going down. Um, but you know Luis Urias, I think will step up big, and Escobar's, uh, you know, departure for a while here, and um, we just need everybody to get healthy. And I appreciate you guys watching this, and like I said, I appreciate the love and support. And if you guys could like, comment, and subscribe, it would mean the world to me. And I would love to get you guys more content like this. Until next time, go Brew Crew. This is my crew, baby.